Hi, this is Natalie from Line.Arrow from the Netherlands and I'm here to work a little bit more on the folio I'm making with the Leather and Lace kits. It's a collaboration kit uh, between me and Kara from Kara Brenner Creations and we are doing a challenge in three Facebook groups. HCC, a Haystack uh, Crafty Corner and that's one group and Kara's group, Kara, Brandon and Friends and my group, Line Not Arrow. And the challenge is to make a folio and the first week it was, uh, it is creating a base. This is the first week we have freebies. You can find Kara's freebies underneath her video and maybe also in the Facebook group and mine are in the Facebook group and also on Kofi. Um, I did work on the cover. This is a book that I turned into a folio and I cut out pages. Um, there's there not uh, there's not a lot of pages left. I took out a lot um, and I decorated this one, but I made a mistake because I wanted to put the envelope on here. And obviously this needed to be underneath this, yeah. So yeah, I, I did that the wrong way. <laughs> I messed up, but I will figure something out. Um, and I did some sewing on the edging, on the edges with some uh, lace. Let me take you up just a little, one moment. And um, this is a hinge that I want to put these little envelopes on, but I do want to decorate the envelopes before I glue them on. So I thought I'd just wait. So they are in here, so that I can do that. This is a little, I created just a little spine in here. It's very tiny, but I can put a little um, signature or booklet in here. So that's an option. Then we have this um, side of the, I don't know how you call this, page. It's not really a page, but yeah, let's call it a page. And I decorated it and did some stitching and added lace. I, in the last video you saw me make these. This one has a side tuck and this has a tuck on top. And I sewn this onto a hinge. And this is just a piece of cardstock and I wanted to glue it on here. But on this side I want to do something with lace, but I also was thinking I need something that goes out, uh, a, flip, a, a flip part. Um, and here I have hinges again, maybe I can add some envelopes from, from the kits on here. This is going to be a large pocket and this is going to be a pocket too, so I also have to put something on here. And I think I also have created... A little spine on here or on here but I also have another um, I can um, put a little insert on here too so yeah because this looks a little bit weird it has to, maybe I put on some checks I don't know yet because decorating is for last uh, for next week not last week next week and this is the freebie of Kara this and this is my freebie and I also have some little bits and bobs uh, because I had two sheets um, but I didn't use them yet. Maybe I will use them when I'm I'm starting to decorate. Uh, I, I can also put the envelope on. No, I can't. It's too wide. Okay, let me just. I'm going back and forth now. Let me just grab some. Um, maybe some cardstock. Yeah, or maybe a big envelope. Let me just think about it. Let me just think about it. Okay, I found this piece of um, paper. It is, it is like from a paper pad, but it's a little thinner. And I like uh, because I think these will go well together with the pinks. Yeah, and I like that it's uh, with some letter on it. I have this in my stash, stash for a long time. I bought it at my local craft store that doesn't even exist anymore for a few years. But this is, I think, it's kissing booth. I don't know and on the back side it has this and it's 
it is a gorgeous color but i'm not going to use that color i'm going to keep this side um, but i want to I turn it into something that flips so i thought what if i just put this over here be a little higher or even this high so cutting off the top part so i have more of the scripts and i have to fold it see where the fold is going to be Just do it like this. That will work. Now I have this side to go over here. This is going on here. I want to add some lace on here. Of course, I'm going to cut this. Um, and I need to... I wanted it like this. Sorry, I forgot. Because it has to flip out that way. So I need to cut off a piece of this. Or wait a minute. We can also... It's too white. No, we can't. Um, I'm just debating. Oh, this is nice. So I need to take off a piece, but I, I, I'm not going to cut it. I'm going to fold it this way. So I can keep this piece. Because I like it and now I am going to cut um, this strip off and I, I will keep this because this is fun and I need to measure sort of measure how long this is going to be did i cut it too small slightly yeah okay doesn't matter um squishy thingy i'm just marking where i should cut it i don't like measuring I never measure. Nope. And also keeping this strip. You never know. Ooh, what did I do? <gasps> I cut it. I didn't want to cut it. Oh, wow. That's, that's not handy. Okay, I have to cut it a little shorter now. <laughs> okay. Um, this is going on here. This is flipping open. Uh, maybe it can even um, flip over here too. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Okay, it still fits. I have a little border so I can... Put some lace over here, that's okay. Uh, need to put this on here. Uh, let me just think, I need another piece of cardstock, I think. Because I can also um, make this flip. So if I put something over here, and piece, and then it goes like this. It can also be an envelope. Maybe like so. And then it opens. And you can put something in. Yeah, maybe that works. But maybe I can make a double flip on this. 
Let me just think about it. Okay, I have two possible options, but I also found this in my stash. I received this uh, when I purchased something in the craft store. Um, maybe. Oh, they are all the same. Oh, this is fun. We can do something with these. Oh, lavender vintage. I didn't know. I, I didn't know. I didn't remember. I well, I remember. I received something and I just thrown it into the closet next to me, in one of the boxes. Um, yeah, this is really nice. I really like this one. Just let me check if this goes well with the journal. Otherwise, it might might be. A little bit too much. I also had this as a base, and I also had this. It's not purple, I know, but it 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 is like this color. Hmm. Let me just think about it. So I'm going to glue this down. That's that's for certain. And I want to turn this into a flippy thingy. But I, I I maybe I'm going to decorate it. So you will not see this. Okay, let's just let's just go for the um, Is this not too heavy purple? I think I'm going for this one. Sorry, I changed my mind. Um, I just have to... So this is going to be on the page and I want this to be on here. Or should I just glue? I'm just gluing a page over it first. Or only... Oh no, no, I'm going to... This is going to be covered with a page from the kit. And this is going to be covered with... Oh, I have to do it this way. to cut up a little bit from the top but that's okay I'm folding this I know it does seem very difficult but I'm when I'm finished you will see what I've done I hope but I want to make ow, flips This is going to work. So I need to um, make it like so, and then I want this like this, and this over here. And this over here, so it's going like so. Or like so. No, it's not going to work like so. Does it? And then it's going... To, oh, yeah. Yeah. I got it. I got it. Off. 
Oh, it's moving. And I also wanted to take something from the top, I said. Yeah. I'm going to. What has happened here? Oh, I need to take it just a little further because now it's, I'm in the middle of a line. It's looking very weird. I'm doing it on the book. Not so clever. But yeah. Will be okay. So this is going on here, then it's going like so, and it's going like so. So I have to cut off this piece. First, let me put it like so. So, I'm going to glue this on, then it's going to open like so, and it's going to open, uh, this is has, okay, this has to be glued down, otherwise it's not going to work. Am I messing it up now? No, I'm not. So what I've basically done is, yeah. What I've basically done is make uh, two clips so it's not going like so but it's going like so and like so and I'm, I'm thinking maybe I can even add an extra flip on here too that's an option too but first I need to do I need to cover this maybe not I need to cover this part for sure. Let me grab some of the pages so I can do some basic decorating. Um, I also have this. I think these are two, yeah. And what if I glue this on first? Or I need more pages. Oh, these are pretty too. Like these. But I thought maybe put these in in the um, in the signature. Although uh, I think. They will be cut off because the signature will not be this white, I guess. I'm not sure yet. Okay, let me just... Maybe I need to use this. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I'm going to add something else to this. Not yet. Mm. Okay, I'm going to glue over this too because maybe I can add envelopes on here so it's already covered. I hope you understand what I did. To be honest, I didn't think this through, I just came up with it uh, as I'm filming. I thought, oh, okay, maybe we can do something with a flip. I did think of a flip, but not how it 
would, would turn out. Because I also was thinking about using an envelope. keep these like so or like so I think like this it's the showing no it's not Let me just check if I still follow myself because this is going to be on here like so and this flips out this is something we can flip out and then we have this do I want another flip on here too or just add some tags on here or turn it into a pocket that's an option too and then it can go like this go like this i really like this but i'm not sure if i'm able to sew it in already i don't think this is straight Pretty sure it's not. Because if I want to decorate it a little bit more um, or do some sewing, it doesn't need to be glued into the book already because then I can't do that. I have to stand because I really have trouble using these, these two fingers. I can't push really hard. And every time I start to cut, on top the papers move. Not sure if you see. I think I have it straight now. Yeah. I also thought about rounding the corners on this one. No, I'm not going to do that. Okay, let me just think. Because I want it like this. And I wanted some lace over here. So if I'm going to sew it in. Oh, how am I going to do that? Hmm, I have no clue. I need to cut something from the bottom half. From the bottom half too. Okay, I cut it. I'm going to leave it for as, as this for now because I, I still don't know because maybe I can also add another flip on here too I don't know and uh, maybe I want some stitching around this and maybe I can even if I place it like this this can be a top pocket so if I put it in now I don't know I can't do anything anymore so this is going over here, and this is on this side. What did I want to do on this? I think I said I wanted to add tags on this, and this is a pocket. Yeah, now, oh, now I remember. I need to re-glue this, these two together. They keep coming off. I, I think I pulled a little bit too hard. Um... 
yeah, the pocket, the pocket thingy. I really like these papers. What if I just I need to cut off just a strip from here, but I can glue this in like so. Yeah, that's possible. I just need to clip my my flippy thingy. Oh, sorry, bumped the camera. Um, I didn't measure, of course. Just going to eyeball. I think it's even smaller. And I'm going to cut off a little bit from the bottom so I can glue it in, in here, like so. You know what? I'm going to open this because I can sew it together. I think that's better. You see in here I read the pages. I just fold it pages together and turn it into uh, a pocket. She is the other glue. I think this will work just fine. Something to cover this. Maybe I can use this. Or oh, I also have a piece of this left. It's a little bit small. I'm going to cut this. Yeah, I'm going to glue this. Sarah, I'm going to put it like this. It's going to be okay. So, this needs to be over here. It's looking weird, but it's going to work, I promise you. I 
Did I have a trouble? Oh man. <laughs> I couldn't find the the bottle thingy. Okay, so if I sew this together, go to sew over here, I have a pocket on here, and I really like this. Yeah, looks cool. Um, does it need lace? I think it does. And maybe... I can also add some pockets on here. Which pockets do I have? These are small. Maybe these. Let me just. before I um, put everything together and messing up the opportunity to put on pockets. I'm going to cut these off camera. So I did cut out all the pockets. The smaller version of the pockets. Um, I'm going to add more pockets to the project, but these will fit on here perfectly. So that's why I have these. And then I can also put in little bits, bits and bobs uh, in these small pockets. Thinking just a little. Use this glue. Um, also thinking about adding something extra to give it a little bit more I don't know how to say it. A little bit more well let me just first do that then I can glue on the pockets right away. It's easier. Um, and I also wanted to add a little bit of lace or not. I'm not sure. And I also need to sew a little bit. Yeah, we are going to be adding some lace. First, let me just put this on here. This can this can be sewn on so it will stay. Yeah, I like this. And also maybe add the same lace over here. That's nice. And I do need to put this on now. It's decorating, but it's decorating the base because um, I need to sew this. But decorating is in challenge number two. Yeah, if I don't put this on now, I can't sew it on. Okay, and I wanted to do something extra over here. I think I had 
strip of the where is it of this paper with the little rosebuds I had a tiny strip left that I could put on okay let me let me find it I have found it hey I thought maybe should put this on and I have the pockets like so sort of stacked on here Does this work? Okay, I need to figure this out. Okay, this can be one piece. Let me just glue it together. Am I doing it the right way? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. I'm putting glue on the side that I'm not even using to glue down. So I don't know why. something like this I'm not sure yeah it can work I'll also do it like this I'm just going to glue it on like this. I'm not going to use the other piece of paper because otherwise it will be too busy. It's like so now. I can't change it anymore. Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun working with uh, all the pages and especially making an, an altered book folio. Uh, I never done this before. As a matter of fact, I only ever did one altered book. And I sent it to Gil Acosinelli to thank her for everything she done for me in the past. And she did it again by showing the kids on her channel. Um, so yeah. Oh, this is nice. It's going to be something very tiny on, on top, but it will work. So I have this. I uh, need to sew. Just need to cut off this excess lace. And this one too. Okay. So I will be sewing over here, 
sewing over here and I'm also going to try to sew these but I'm not sure if it will work and that means I have to take this out otherwise it's not possible to sew but I can yeah maybe maybe I can stitch we will see let's try okay I did uh, sew on I did sew over here and here. It was not easy, but I forgot to sew on this. I was so busy with this that I forgot to sew this piece first. So yeah, um, yeah, it didn't work out the way I planned, but I still like it. And I had this planned like, I don't know how I had it planned to be honest. Like this, I think. But does this work because hmm, I don't know I really don't know because this is attached to this piece of the spine over here so if I glue this down I have the same thing on the front side I don't think this will work Oh, it can work. Okay, first let me figure out what I'm going to do on this side. Um, I could also turn this into something flippy. So it's a hint to, to attach something flippy. That, that's an option too. I have... Okay, how do I have it? I forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have this over here. So this is like so, this is like so, this is going to be a pocket, this is going to be flip, like so, like a little booklet flippy. I was going to attach something on here, but I really don't know what I was going to attach, to be honest. I can also attach this on here. Now I'm going to leave it like this. Uh, oh, I wanted to uh, attach tags and envelopes from the kit. Here we can put stuff in. And I think I have planned to shove in these envelopes at the back. But mm, I think they will go in here. And I have to make them a little bit shorter. Or not. I don't know. Maybe I can also... Slide these in. Yeah, this works better. I put them like this. This can also be a tuck spot. Maybe I'm going to do it like this. So, okay, this is going to be something for the envelopes, I think. Um, still need to figure this out. I can also put these on like so. Maybe that's cool. Yeah, that can be cool too. going to be like this okay we have this piece left I can't I, I don't think I can turn this into a pocket so I have to make a flippy thingy on here um, yeah let's do that let's create another flip we have some paper somewhere laying around some cardstock cardstock paper Maybe this time I'm going to use this. Okay. 
this is not straight. Let me do some scoring first. I'm going to create some sort of little spine in here. So I'm going to score in the middle where I fold it and then um, half a centimeter because this scoreboard is in centimeters on the left and half a centimeter on the right. Maybe I need more, I'm not sure yet. If you do that, you can sort of bend your paper a little bit and create a very tiny spine. To, uh, not going easy with two layers of paper, so just scoring it like this, and then turn this the other way. I think I scored a little bit too hard because my paper is is ripped a little. But yeah. So now I created just a little spine, as you can see. Not much, just just a tiny spine. Because I thought, what if I put it on like so? So this over here. Or I can do it like so. I thought this was better, but this is extremely, this can be smaller, so I'm going to cut off a piece of this because it's too, it's too big. It doesn't fit in this one. Let me cut off a strip of camera. So I cut off most of it. <laughs> um, so I want to I'm not sure if it's straight. I don't think it's straight, but it was not diff it was not easy to put it on a um, paper cutter. I can't put it on there because it's too fat, too thick. Um, but what if I just do it like so? Because then I also can, if I want to, put a, a little booklet in here. Let me just score one extra line over here. So if I glue it on like so, yeah, I don't think I will be able to sew this on, because that would be awesome if I could, but I don't think I can, um, but I don't like this sticking out, 
And what if I just take this up just a little? And score a little bit below. Because now it's the same height as the hinge and this can go like so yeah. okay, I need to fill the inside decorate the outside of course first let me make sure is absolutely straight because now it's not From here and I'm even thinking about okay let me think I want to um, glue this on so this piece on here and then decorate over here so this is covered too and then put this on and also decorate of course this but i also want to do some stitching around here so i have to really figure out what to do maybe i need to stitch over here and on here because this this will be pockets and then get my papers to decorate and also stitch over here and over here so it look like it's stitch um all the way through yeah, yeah that's what i'm going to do uh, let me show you so you understand because this is not making any sense at all uh, but i'm going to decorate this first okay i'm really enjoying this um, oh, these are beautiful to put in here. I can even um, let me let check my book. I need to know and I glue this in like so and I glue this over. Going to be attached on here. I need to. Do I want to line this up together with the, with the pocket thingy? Something like this. And I can add some lace over here, maybe. Yeah. Okay. What do I want over here? Am I going to leave it or am I going to decorate it? I think I will decorate it. And I'm not sure with what I'm going to decorate it with. Maybe collage a little. Put this. I really don't know. Um, let me just think about it. I have more pages. I just check the pages and we will see. Oh, I, I also love this. I really like this. Hmm. Could also do the collage page on here. That's one option. Because I really like those other pages to be in a, in a signature. Uh, 
And if I put this one in, I can leave this as it is. I can just check, decorate it. Yeah. Okay. I also have this lace. Not purple, purple, but it is. I can also use. Oh, everything is dropping. I could also use this one. I think this one is better. I don't think I have this I don't think I have this anymore and this this type of lace. I think this is the last piece this color. I'm not sure but I think it is the last one. But what if I do it like this? I really like this. It's kind of exciting. Uh, I had had hadn't planned this ahead, um, and it's always nice that you come up with something that might actually work. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. So I said I was going to glue this on like so and I want stitching over here, stitching over here and also stitching over here I guess and it's going to flip so I still have something over here to figure out but we will see um, but does it bother me? Does this need? Does this need some? Um, how do you say it? Reinforcement. I don't know. Maybe it does. Okay. Well. <laughs> I can always sew in a signature in here, or the signature can be put in here and taken out. So there's a room, so there's a little booklet in here, so it doesn't have to be attached to this. Good point, yeah, good thinking. <laughs> um, okay, let me just because I also have to figure out the lace that I'm going to put over here. And the lace that I'm going to be working with on this side needs to be long enough to actually... Okay, why is this so wonky? I did measure and did everything right, but... This is straight, straightish. Um, need some lace over here. Maybe I'm going to use this one. But I also think this needs to be covered just a little. So I need papers too. Yeah, this needs to be covered. Let's first cover this up. Otherwise, it's not going to work.
Okay. Did I forget to glue the, the, the corners? I think I did. And what I can do is sew around. Well, I'm going to sew around anyway. But also stitch over here. So it's extra secured. Um, I wanted to add some lace. I said I wanted to add some lace, so put it here. Maybe I want to have a double sided. Maybe. Okay. I want to just test if this will work. I'm going to put this on here after I did the sewing part. Um, just put the pin in. Okay, yeah, I'm going to do the sewing part. I'm going to take this off. I can always add an extra layer on the other half on the inside. So first I'm going to do sewing over here and over here. Yeah, let me just do that. Okay, I sewn around this. Um, also sewn around this. Oh, uh, sorry, this. But it didn't... <laughs> It didn't, it wasn't easy to do, so it's not looking, well, as pretty as I want it to, but we will see. Maybe I will put something over, decorate it a little, and you will not see anymore. Um, this is going to be glued on here. That's, that's a definite sure thing. So, I'm going to do that. And then I need to decorate, decorate the inside, but also want to sew around the inside paper. Although, I'm not so sure anymore. It was diff very difficult, the sewing part. It wasn't fun to do. <laughs> Close as can be. Does it still fit? Yeah. And I'm also thinking to put a little bit of the tape on here so it's more subtle, subtle uh, it's more subtle the tra transition from this to that, if that makes any sense. But it's now very bulky. If I just run some tape over here. And it's a little bit more smooth. The word that I'm looking for. So did I figure something out for the inside? Yes, I did. And I also said I was going to do a lot of sewing. But I think I'm going to skip the sewing. Yeah. 
I also think I need to line this up like so. The reason why I'm skipping the sewing, I'm afraid I will rip the paper. I didn't really think this through. And now I'm thinking, yeah, well, if I do that, I, I'm definitely going to rip the paper. And then everything is ruined. I want to line this up. No idea if it's straight or not. No, it's not. Absolutely not. Okay. So, heavy gluing over here. So, glue it in. Yeah, it's probably not as straight as I wanted it. I need to cut off. A bit on the top, I think. Also. Okay, need some more glue. Not sure if you can see, but I'm gluing uh, on the pockets so I can close them. And also putting a little bit of glue in the middle section. And also a little bit in the crease. I 
I need to clean this. So I'm going to go like so. And I also said I want to lace on here. And I will. I will put it on. But I'm going to sew it on too. I'm going to sew this together. And then I think I will stop for today. Otherwise... Um, it's a very long process video. It's wrong. It's not gluing down. And I did add a lot of glue already. This is glued down. So I'm going to sew the edge on. And then I think, oh no, what did I do? I didn't put it on the right way. Can I? Oh, I can't. I need to figure out something to correct that on the other side. I put it on wrong. So there goes my well planned folio. But it's really hard to cover up things like that on the other side. This it's very difficult to do. <laughs> Maybe just some tape. I don't know. I need to fix it, so yeah, we're going for the tape. Where would I be without the tape? Okay, I need to do this just a little. Top part, and put it down. The tape is great, but it's difficult to cut it. It's really a bit shorter. Okay, I'm going to leave it as it is now. Okay, this is funny. Um, because, well, yeah, I made a mistake and I fixed it. And I guess I'm not the only one making mistakes, so... I need to junk journal thingy, so I really, really, really don't like this. 
has to be straight. Okay, this is better. Let me just check what we have now. Um, not so sure what we were going to do on this. I had an envelope planned, but I don't know anymore. Here we are going to be little thingies, coin envelopes. This is going to be the place where we can do something to decorate this. Um, top pocket side thing. And we are going to put something on here too. This is going to be on here and it's going to be a side tuck. We have to fix, fix this. I'm going to add stuff on here too. I'm going to fit things in here. We have two envelopes, but maybe I can do something different also. I have to do something over here. And this is going to be um, here. It's going to be a little insert thingy. It's going to flip. And I'm thinking about adding lays. And I also have to figure out what I'm going to do on this side. But yeah, I'm I'm... I'm getting there. Oh, we have... No, no. I have a thing. I forgot. I have this. I forgot. So this is a flippy out thingy. Two. Yeah. This is here. Okay. Now I'm seeing the flippy out thingy is sticking out. So I have to take off just a little strip on, the, on this side to make it fit. Yeah, now it's fitting. It can be like this. This can be like this. I also want to include some tabs. This can be like so. And where did I have these? I have these somewhere. I really don't know where I had them. I forgot. And I have, do I have more envelopes to put in? Oh, I have an envelope decorated already. This one. Okay, where did I have the... I could also slide in one of these. Or not. I really like this. And I just decorated one of these with a piece of paper. It can also be in here. We will see. I'm going to put this one in here too. This is something I want to create something with. So yeah, um, yeah, a rather long video today. I'm sorry for that, but it's yeah, it's getting there. We are not even too bulky. Uh, this is the front side. This is the back side. So it's going to be on here, and then I'm going to make a closure. I have to do some lace on here for sure, and I also want to do a little bit of lace over here, but it has to be very smooth lace something like this and maybe i can even sew this together and glue it on something like that and we can add something on here too maybe pockets or yeah so yeah this is it for today um i hope you liked the video um give it a thumbs up leave a comment like subscribe Follow the challenge, hashtag Lavender and Lace. And also check out all the other channels because the design team members are really making an effort to do... They are really into this. So please follow them too. Um, yeah, and the ladies of Haystack Creation Corner, HCC, please go over to that uh, Facebook group too. And also to Kara's um, group, of course, and follow her design team members too because... There's a lot of inspiration going on at the moment and you you really yeah you can you can learn a lot from these things or be inspired so yeah take a look thanks for watching um stay safe stay creative i hope to see you next time greetings from the netherlands bye 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 mm -hmm.